This is the way what I did. I started way early. Like I put mine up last a year week ago. Nice. Last November? No, 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 no. I'm not one of those oh, guys. Okay. <laughs> I put mine up a week, like a week before Thanksgiving, but didn't light them. But they were up. So after Thanksgiving, just flip the switch. Whoop. Ready to go. Did you do like a, like a house lighting, you know, everyone gather around? All right. Well, I had to test myself because you don't want to embarrass yourself. <laughs> yes, I If one or two lights are out, it looks right. pretty bad. Yeah. So right. Guys, test it yourself, know. then you bring the family out to see Jim, it all. I, don't I know. Yeah, we're there, a little behind there's, us here. There's a, there's a few things. Did you not hear in your somewhere? Goals. Hashtag There goals. are companies that do that, though. Should you not want to? Yes. Take on that task. Yeah. I'll leave my comments about that to myself, but uh, <laughs> okay. I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Good. Give you a little extra time to maybe put some uh, lights up for the day. Uh, we'll take it over from here. Here's a look at what is happening today from 9 till noon. So get you ready for the big events in your neighborhood. All right, welcome everyone here. Good morning, happy Monday. Weather Channel has you covered from coast to coast. Alex, welcome back. Yes. Your, your travels okay? I feel okay? like I haven't been here in like a month. It's been a while. I hope I remember how to do this. <laughs> uh, like no, riding a bike, Alex. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. Uh, no, great times, good times with the family. Got a chance to travel a little bit yeah. out there. So yeah, fun times. Yeah, hopefully we didn't get into some of these uh, travel lines that we, <laughs> we've been tracking out and che checking out for you. Um, Weather-wise, I have to say, overall, I feel like we did pretty good. A lot of rain on the front side. Yesterday, there was some rain in the northeast, but I mean, LA oh, traffic is. That is, is that now? Oh, this was last, last night. night. Okay, but oof. We saw last week, we saw LA traffic, grapevine actually kind of snaked all around and we thought it was holiday lights. It was like back to back to back, like <laughs> wow. someone had strung red lights. No, wow. it was just traffic. That is, that, that is the stress of the holidays. Yeah. Why do we put ourselves through that? It's so crazy. Say, you know. uh, New England um, has been busy here in the last 24 hours here. The system is slowly, well, I would say it's, it's quickly moving out here, but it's still with us into northern New England, still snowing up to northern Maine. Uh, a lot of us have finished with the system, but now we get into the lake effect. Yeah, that's going to be the main player here for us uh, in that sort of uh, northeastern quadrant of the country, watching right around those lakes. Well, a coast-to-coast -coast storm, that revs up. It the low visibility, you saw that around Muskegon, Michigan, where it was very low visibility. It'll be Other tier of the country where wet yeah. weather is expected there. It's a pretty busy week, especially middle to end of the week here. So I'm standing in New Orleans using our virtual view technology. Sun today, looking good, right? A little chilly side, but looking good. Now by Thursday night, that will all give way to some clouds and rain. Some of the rain can be quite heavy at times. Thunderstorms are a possibility. All different features that we got to look out for here as we see this midweek pattern shape up to be pretty active. New Orleans, look at your forecast, starting with some showers coming in on Thursday and then Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We've got the chance of storms. You know, there's still some uncertainty in the exact way this forecast is going to play out. So we'll talk about that here. Look at you know, what's coming our way. Just first of all, a reminder how much we need the rain. The exceptional drought here has really not gone away across any parts of the lower Mississippi Valley, the Tennessee Valley. We are dry, still the extreme drought up there and even exceptional drought in spots like East Tennessee. Now, as we watch the forecast for rainfall, though, and see all of this coming in, it you know could be quite beneficial. This is the European model showing a heavy rainfall here starting uh, Wednesday into Sunday time frame, but it won't be all you know every single day there. Uh, we'll be watching for rain potentially heavy at times. The GFS model is a little bit different, a little farther south with exactly where the heavy rain is, maybe not quite as much, but still both are showing us some signs of heavy rain. So there's confidence in that. The devil in details though, which does matter, I know to your outdoor plans here, is still yet to be determined, but to, to look at some options for how things could play out, you know, starting on Wednesday into Thursday, we've got the rain spreading up here through South Texas, in through Louisiana, and then up into Arkansas. Uh, as we get you into Thursday and Friday, some of that could be Heavy at times, which could mean some flash flooding concerns. We'll watch for that. And then we take it Thursday, Friday into Saturday watching. There's almost there's two features here that we're keeping an eye on. The first one comes in through Friday, watching this through the southeast. Then right on its heels is another one coming in for Saturday. So then we've got more rain coming in after that. First system, though, could bring that potential for heavy rainfall, possible flash flooding already out looking that into southern Mississippi, southern Alabama, parts of the Florida panhandle. Again, remember that Saturday system I talked about that is right here already covering the entire southeast with that potential for rain. Some of it could be quite heavy at times, and that actually extends all the way into Sunday. So that is at least a two day rain event for you, maybe even three. Birmingham, we've got Friday, Saturday and Sunday with showers, possible thunderstorms here, especially as we get into that Sunday time frame. Uh, it's not going to rain necessarily uh, consistently all through Friday into all of Saturday here, but I think there'll be a break maybe late Friday uh, or at least the second half of Friday before we get back into the rain on Saturday. Tallahassee, we've got thunderstorm chances here. 
and it may be all day Friday and then again scattered on Saturday and Sunday. The chance for storms. Yes, uh, that very active subtropical jet Alex here. We got that going with us through the entire second half of the week into the weekend. Yeah. Then it goes north. It sure does. Uh, bring a whole lot of wintry weather, which is not unusual for us here right. to, to not have it right now. Yeah, no, just kind of a chilly rain. Yeah, so Which is never fun, right? No, and again, all the tree lightings and everything else that are happening. I feel like every day this week, someone's got one somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tough for the weather. Mm -hmm. Well, the calendar is about to flip over to December, and we know that an interesting perception. Yeah, that we'll see if that sticks around. That cloudy. Exactly. I have a, a sneaky yeah. suspicion that we're going to turn back to the normal uh, right. there soon. Well, you can go to threads to send us your comments and share your pics and video with us using the hashtag yes TV. Yeah, <laughs> you know, because we just had so many weeks where maybe we cool down one or yeah. two days, but then it warms up again. It's a pretty chilly week. Mm -hmm. We're running I, below average. Yep, here we are. Here we are checking out today and look at some of these highs. I mean, we're stuck in the 20s. Minneapolis down towards Chicago here for today. I, I have to keep double checking. Wait, these are highs. <laughs> yes. yes, these are high test. temperatures. <laughs> so and your highs are going to stay below 40 for 132 million of you today. 87 million tomorrow, Wednesday, 27 million. So in, in theory, it improves a little bit. But yeah. look, you're still going to be below average, just maybe not that cold. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, this is still going to be a week to, to, to bundle up out there. And the thing about it, it's not just the northern tier. How about farther south? So some of these lows this morning, they're across uh, west of the Mississippi. 26 in Tulsa, 29 in Little Rock. It's cold times. Yeah. Now, Florida, uh, this morning we dropped down to 50 in Tallahassee, only warming up to 61 degrees today. And the cold air is on the move. I've been watching it kind of go south on those north winds. You can hear them outside your window uh, whistling with that cold air continuing to surge southward. Ooh, not even getting out of the 40s today in a spot like Nashville uh, for the day. So this is certainly below average for, for quite a few of us. Along the Gulf Coast as well, I mean, 5 to 15 degrees below average. Yeah, so it's not like it's record-breaking. Right. It's just, you know, cooler, much cooler than it's been. The, tomorrow morning, i got a lot of 30s out there, a few more spots in the 20s, like around Nashville. Um, you've already hit your freeze before, so it's not like that would be a first freeze, but um, Tallahassee hasn't done it yet. Yeah, we got Florida in the mix here, and these are some areas who haven't done it. We have at least a chance this week to reach that mark. This is Wednesday morning. There you go. 31 degrees. Mm -hmm. um, and then again, that's the one uh, where we've got what Asheville going down to the teens. Yeah. Raleigh's going to be in the low 20s. Atlanta's dropping to the 20s. There's a plant I'm trying to save. I better do it today. Yeah, Get it out of the ground. Exactly. This is going to be one of those mornings. The good news is you see it doesn't last too long. We're kind of moving in the up direction as we mark, march our way in towards kind of that Thursday morning time. All right. So Tallahassee, again, that Wednesday morning, you're coldest. But Thursday morning is pretty darn close to that. Yeah, so it's not too degrees. far off. Yeah. Yeah. We be prepared. Of course, don't forget question of to get uh, to get into this right now. Uh, it's definitely can be tricky for travel. The next series of dollar disasters to occur in a single year since record keeping began, totaling more than seventy three billion dollars in damages. Now, with just over a month left in the year, experts are predicting the total of annual insured losses from natural disasters could surpass more than $100 billion. Chief Science Officer with gallagher Reese, Steve Bowen, joins us now with a closer look at the trends leading to this alarming stat. Steve, thanks for joining us. Always good to have you on the show to check in on this. You know, 2023 on pace to be the sixth year in a row to exceed $100 billion in insured losses. So what, what are the total losses to date? Yeah, so we've actually surpassed the 100 billion. We didn't really have a gangbusters hurricane season. We had the right. one, Italian. but overall, mm -hmm. I mean, it could have been a lot worse in terms I of know. these billion dollars. It feels disasters. very overwhelming. It does, it does. So I have to ask, should we just accept this now? This is now the sixth year in a row getting over 100 billion. Is this the new normal? I think it is, right? I mean, we, we try not to say... You mentioned you know, the cities themselves that need to recover from these big events. So what does this mean for insurance? What implications could these natural disasters have on insurance? Well, it's continuing to cause... It's a bit left in the year. What are the expect expectations here for the remainder uh, of the year now that we're kind of closing the book on the hurricane season, winter season upon us? Yeah, all eyes are on El Nino here. Steve Bowen, Chief Science Officer with gallagher Reed. thank you so much for your perspective and joining us today. Always appreciate it. Um, mm -hmm. And it is interesting, Alex, just looking back at some of the billion-dollar disasters, winter storms rarely make the list. It's, it's the severe, it's yeah. the hurricanes, yeah. it's the wildfires. As you re we were just yeah. hearing, right? Yeah. It's, it's one of those things where we think, oh, my goodness, they can be very impactful to right. us, but in terms of the, the, the damage, damage and the losses, yeah. yeah. Well, as hurricane season comes to a close, soaring... In um, here's the bonus. You can tour the inside of the tree.
That's crazy. Which I think is so cool. That is wild. I mean, does it, is it like, too? do you go up or is it just kind of on No, the... I think you go up. Wow. I, well, I don't really know, though. I haven't been there. <laughs> um, I, w I really do want to see this one day. They've got animated uh, replicas of historic Delray Beach buildings inside the tree. And you got a chance all December to see it. It stays up through the end of the month. That, that sounds like a trip. Yeah. And there's other things going on, too. They do the menorah lighting coming up on Thursday the 7th, and then there's a parade on, a boat parade on the 8th, and then the street parade on the 9th. I mean, it's a party. All kinds of festivities, <laughs> yeah. and the weather is yeah. cooperating yes, this week. Is. Absolutely. All right, well, why not head, head right back out there? Uh, I plan to go inside to check it out. So I will report on the spheres inside. So we, we both have spectacles that you can see from the outside and the inside. <laughs> yeah. How cool is that? We yeah, didn't plan we that, didn't by plan the way. We didn't plan that at all. It just occurred to Sometimes me. Sometimes it actually. happens. Uh, forecast <laughs> for us. Yes, coolish mornings, but by the afternoon, that was the case last week. It warms up. That sunshine gets you, and you know, Vegas uh, sun can be uh, uh, bright and uh, hot. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Low 60s here for us the next few days with a chilly start in the morning. I love that picture of you with a sphere behind you. Yes. And um, I'm very, very authentic. When I say that picture was very authentic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, we are here with you mid-morning hours through the mid-morning hours, getting you ready for the big events in your neighborhood. The Weather Channel has you covered from coast to coast. And really, that's what we were watching over the weekend with there was a storm that went coast to coast. And luckily, I think a lot of it got out of here by, by mm -hmm. Sunday, although we still had some rain in the northeast. Um, look, there are plenty of people, though. So even without a big storm, I'm sure you had some delays. That's the thing, right? We didn't have much going on in L.A., yeah. but this was Sunday night, yesterday evening. Look at that right outside the airport. And you know, there's a lot of folks in those vehicles like, yeah, ah, getting right. close, getting close. Yes, yes. Uh, it was like that actually when I went to drop my family off on was it Tuesday before Thanksgiving mm. at the airport. Alex, it was like this is the Atlanta airport. I had thoughts of you when you missed all Ooh. your flights and I thought oh my gosh. they were going to miss theirs. Uh, yeah, so traffic is a thing for sure. Weather wise, uh, we're going to be watching for some snow today. If today's your travel day, still left up in northern Maine, although most of the storm is gone. I mean, in fact, it's warming up too. So yeah. Some of you are changing over. Well, I'm putting warming in quotes. It's warming above freezing. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. To get you above having to do yeah. with the wintry weather. So that'll be out of here. But now we got a coast to coast storm that's going to rev up its.